Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Jimmy, and you're watching Jimmy 2 Tech. I'm here with my friend Rich. Hey. Uh, we're outside his RV today trying to adjust something on his awning. He has some bad gas struts on there, so I'll show you that. I'll blip to that here in a little bit of the one side falling down. The strut's like no good. So we're gonna change those out today. The awning is down on that one side. It's because of those struts there. You can see them right there. That one's not too bad yet, it is leaking right there, but this one here's just shot. It won't even hold this side up. It leaked all out right there. So that's the stuff we're gonna attack today. You might run into some issues where people are telling you you need to replace the whole arm. You don't really. Um, you can buy just the gas strut, like this here. You'll buy it like this. You can see this is what a bad one looks like. And then, uh, you can buy them and there is a way to put them in. We're gonna show you how to do that today. You can't really see it, but we're gonna start in this corner here. There's three spots you'll have to pull the pins out, but uh, we'll show you how to do that. And uh, we'll take you over here to the table and show you what tools you're gonna to need to do the job. Just a few hand tools, nothing major. So let's go over here and check that out. All right, here we are at the table. I'll show you the few tools you might need. A pair of side dikes to get the lock nuts off, which here are the lock nuts, or they're actually push nuts. That's what they call those. A screwdriver might be easier to get them off with. A pair of pliers might help you. A hammer and a 716 socket, that's gonna help you bang those push nuts on. That should be all you need. Uh, if, if you can get behind your push nuts, you could use 10 snips, or like I said, these side dikes. And here's our new gas strut right here. Uh, link, to, link to this gas strut where you can get these. We'll leave a link in the description for you guys. Actually right there gas strut lift strut depot so we'll get, leave a link to that for you guys so you can get it uh, so that's all the tools you need it's really simple so let's get up here on the ladder and get this changed out all right guys here we are up at the arm there's going to be three spots you're going to take these push nuts off and these pins out this is one of the spots at the bottom of the shaft or the strut up here at the top of the strut there's another one you're going to take off and you got to be careful let's see if i can get you up in there up in there you'll see there's spacers, plastic spacers. You're gonna be careful with those, get those off. You'll drop them a lot, believe me. Then you'll be trying to chase them around. And there are some on this one. You'll see the plastic pieces in there. Skinny ones there, and then there's some medium sized ones in there. And one other spot is right here where that upper arm comes down. That'll have to come off. But you are gonna need a helper to hold up the end of your awning this whole thing has to be totally rolled out and somebody's going to hold that for you because these struts have so much pressure in them you won't be able to compress those so you're going to have to push the whole arm system out in order to get these lined up so that's what we're going to do we're going to get over here and start with this one probably just pulling the lock nuts off before we uh push the pins out i call them knock nuts they're they're push nuts but we're going to get all three of those out so let's do that first all right on these push nuts you're just gonna get behind them with a screwdriver and just you're just gonna pry them around like this you'll see that then you could get enough to get behind it and you can pull them off like that so that one's off we're gonna do the other two just like that and then we're gonna have somebody support the arm while we pull the pins out and get those spacers you don't want to lose your spacers so let's get the other two pulled out and then we'll go to the next step All right, now we're gonna hit this last one. There we go. Now just be careful you don't push the pins out while nobody's holding it because it'll just fall on you guys. All right guys, we're gonna start with this one here. Be careful on the arm that has your power wires running through it. If you need to move the wires out of the way or the shielding for it, you could do that. But we're just gonna relieve some pressure on this and push and pull on it. Got to be careful because this gas strut does have power in it right now a little bit so if yours are a little weak but not fully dead be careful <laughs> be careful with those i'm trying to figure which one to go with i don't want it to shoot this down on me because it's got pressure right now there we go yeah there we are well we know what they look like on the ground because there's they're all down there 
All right, we're pulling this top one out. There are spacers, like I said, so make sure you try to catch those. We've already dropped a few of them. These are what the spacers look like up there, so you wanna make sure you catch all those. All right, now we got our gas, our new strut. You want the bulk end, the body end, to be towards the top. That's how you want it, so put your pin through. You can put those spacers back in after. Just wanna get your thing on there. And we're gonna try to shove all these up and get them in there at the same time. It's always easier said than done. You all right, Rich? <laughs> I'm help holding it there. All right, guys, after a little bit of pressure because you're holding that whole awning arm up, but we got it back in up here. We still got to put the push nut on. It's back in this position. This one's in. We're going to put the push nut on that. After we get our push nuts in to secure it, we can put the spacers back on. There's the ones that go behind here, the two that I showed you that went up here, and that's the ones you'll have. If you did take it apart here, you'll probably have a couple skinny ones there too, but if you didn't, no big deal. It's pretty tight anyway. So we're gonna get the nuts back on these and then go to the next step. All right, just like that, we're gonna take the 716 socket, put it here, hold, support the other side with your finger or something, and then just use a hammer or something to push that or bang that on. Like that, you'll hear a seat. Pay attention to your pins because one is longer than the other, so you wanna make sure you get the right one on there. Now those, those uh, spacers we showed you, they go up on either side of this arm. They're, they're meant to be there, so it centers this every time when it goes in here. So we wanna make sure those go back on. Yeah, right on the pin, you'll see. It's the only spot for them, so that's that one there. We're gonna to try to get the ones in down here. Just reverse of how you took them off. So we're gonna put those in, and then you're done with this part of the job. So let's get that last one out here and get going. All right, guys, after we got that, you want to take your awning and run it in and out. Make sure everything's clear and not binding. Oh, sweetness. Maybe run it back out. Bingo. So, beautiful. That's, that's how you want it to work, running in and out. Well, there you have it, guys. Another job, not too hard. With, with us filming, it took probably 45 minutes, you'd say. But normally, it probably only take you 20 minutes to 30 minutes without recording. So, it's not a hard job. Like we said, some people, we ran in, he ran into some resistance trying to get just the struts. They were telling you, you got to replace the whole arm. You don't. So we'll leave a link in the description to where he got these from. Help you guys out. It's an easy fix. Saves you a lot of money, Correct. I would say. So I believe it was $500, you know, to replace one arm and the struts were 
uh, $34 each, so saved myself uh, $430. Yeah, saving $430 is a, good, is a good day. So if you guys got any questions, don't forget to leave them down below. We'll get to them. We, we get to every question right now. We're not that big, but uh, we get to them all. And uh, we'll leave links in the description, like I said, to all this stuff. If you, and um, like, we, like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. We got some more videos coming. I know we had a little gap there, but we had a move coming. Um, the previous video probably would have explained that already by now by the time you guys see this video. But until next time, guys, try something new. Do a little bit of everything. Ooh.